Hello and welcome to Oscar Modeling and welcome to part 5 of our 1200 Yamato build here. So if you haven't already, um, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified when the videos come out. Uh, if you like the videos, give us a thumbs up and uh, share the videos if you can on your social media to others that might be interested. And your comments are welcome below. I read all your comments and um, get some good tips from everybody and all their advice and uh, inspired by your nice words too. <laughs> okay, so as I say, we're into part five. The previous videos, which if you're just coming into this for the first time, go through the unboxing, uh, unboxing review, and then we go into uh, the building of the boats, the ship's boats, and the aircraft, and they're all in the playlist. So, as you can see, we're into the actual ship. And in this video, well, to start with, we need to make sure that uh, these metal braces, there's three of them down the whole length of the hull, are tight and they require just a Phillips head screwdriver, which I have here somewhere, there it is. So we just need to make them not over tight, but firm as we go along. And also to make sure that all these braces here, so the plastic ones, are all locked in um, properly. That way you'll have that, thing, that line where the ship joins, because this is in two pieces, um, will be just perfect because in this video we need to glue these two halves together. Now I was thinking of different ways of going about doing this, which glue to use, whether I use um, some of the Revell contactor, which I've done previously, or my other, I've got some icky sticky CA glues, so forth. Um, but I need to put a thanks out to Nigel Nigel modeling bench um, to um, stick with the Tamiya extra thin, um, which I actually don't have, but I do have the equivalent in Mr. Hobby. So I'll be doing that. So the idea of that is we'll just run that all the way down on the inside very slowly and let that seep into the seam. And that'll act as a weld for the plastic and melt it and join it together. Should leave a lot less clean up on the other side as if, um, for example, if I was using contact or, or other glue that might um, squeeze out, I'd end up having to sand underneath, which hopefully this way may not have to do any sanding under the hull there. Um, I've checked the, the, um, the fit and it is absolutely perfect. What I'm also going to do is, when I've glued all the way along, um, I'm going to not do the ends, like the bow. I'm going to leave that, the bow and the stern. I won't add glue to them because I want to do a test fit with the deck, and see how that fits, and then I'll squeeze them together and see how that goes. And probably once the deck is sitting in its position, then I'll add the glue. Although that will be tricky, won't it? Because the deck will be there. Anyway, I'll see how that fit is. And then once the deck's on, I'll just lift it off while I'm holding it and, and add the glue into there. I just want to make sure that that's going to be perfect for the deck fitting. Same with on the stern as well. Now, when I do press them together and look in there, it's perfect. It, this, there's no, the seam is perfect. So I know that's good. Same on the stern there as well. It's, it's fine. But better safe, sorry. Um, in this video, we'll probably also be adding some parts to the outside because the next step will be to um, prime this all up. And um, I want to make sure I've got everything on here that needs to be attached. And I mentioned in the last video that I do have some sprues out that are already washed and ready to go, where we'll see there are some pipes and a few bits and pieces that need to be attached. Now there are some 
uh, I think they're called davits for uh, lifeboats. I will check on that, get back to you, <laughs> um, to be added onto here, but they actually stick up higher on the side here. I think there's the locations there, there's three on that side here. They attach and stick up. Now they're definitely candidates for being knocked off during the build process, so I won't be putting those on. I will take them off the sprue and I'll put them in a container and label them to be added later uh, and paint them up but I won't be putting on now. Whereas those other pipes, they sit flat against the hull. There's no risk of them getting knocked off. They also won't affect the marking um, for the um, hull red to gray um, line, which will have to be done later, later. All right, so um, I'm gonna get these tightened up. Just make sure they're all good. Make sure all this is pushed together. We've got no gap in there. And then we'll come back and start adding our um, extra thin along there. I'll be back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So I had to make a bit of space here. You can see it takes up some room. So I've been along with a Phillips head screwdriver and just tightened all these up. They were all tight anyway, but just, just made sure. There was one that was a little bit loose, so it's worth checking. Um, and then what I'm doing now, I was just checking that seam line where it joins before I glue. So if I turn this over, this. So looking along here, from here to here, you can't even see that there's a join. Except in here, a little spot there where if I push in from underneath, it goes away. So, not a problem. Otherwise, all the way along is fine. There's one little spot right here. I don't know if you can see that on the bow. Just in there, there's a little gap. But again, you may actually need a little bit of a fill. Just, just in there. Otherwise, all the way down the end is fine. And um, down the back here, the rudders, but they'll go on. I'll just put two clamps in there just to make sure. Put that around for one second. So, probably off camera still. <laughs> it's just so big. So just here, we can just clamp there, clamp there, and they'll set perfectly too. The only, yeah, just that little point up in the bow there might need a bit of filling. That's it. We'll see how it goes once the instant um, sets. All right, so um, I guess I better start uh, working my way slowly along. Okay, back in a sec.
Okay, so I've glued the whole length, um, the bow I left, but now I've actually glued it up, put some clamps on there. I'll take the camera down that end and we'll have a look. But I'm just showing you a bit of a problem I've got here. Um, I've glued all the way up under where the rudders mounts go, right up to there. And here it needs to be squeezed together, not much, just, just like that. Just needs that little bit of pressure and the seam line, everything is gone on the outside, it looks fine. But I don't have anything to clamp it because of the shape, the curve around there. Any clamp I put on there is just going to slip off and it doesn't need to be clamped at the top. It just needs to be held in there like that. So I'm not left with much choice other than to just uh, put the glue in there and just hold it. I mean, this, this, this stuff here will take seconds to glue. But of course, I'll, I'll sit here for five minutes just to be sure, because it is a critical part and I need to get that to be just like that. So what I'll do is I'll um, run some glue in there. I'll hold this for five minutes. It's not much pressure at all, so it's not like it's being forced apart. And and then she'll be right. So, all right, I will go and do that. And... Um, We'll come back and I'll show you the bow, how I've got it clamped up, and we'll turn the whole thing upside down and have a look at how it's joining up. Um, I'm also thinking of running a, a layer as an extra strengthening of Tamiya cement, which is the thicker one. Might just do a layer all the way across along the inside there, just to add to that a bit more strength there. All right, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so we're just going to have a look along the bottom of the hull here. Clamps on there, just holding that for a little longer, but they should be fine to come off now. But as you can see, there's a little bit of a seam mark there. You can see that I think it's so small that I think just Mr. Soap Surfacer will fill that no problem at all. But as we go down the hole, it's like a beautiful joint. It's perfect. All the way. Really, really nice. And just that little point just here, if I can get that in and show you. The light right. Get it to focus. There. So you can see that little spot there. That's the only gap. And again, it's so small, pretty sure I can just get Mr. Service to brush that on there, it'll fill the gap and it'll be fine. Other than that, right along to the bow's fine. Got these clamps holding that in. But again, perfectly joined. Come up really, really nice. And uh They'll be, take, they'll be able to come off soon. All right, so, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. As you can see. Beautiful. All right, I'll just get the camera back. We'll turn this back over. We'll have another look inside because I'm thinking I will actually put a layer of this down along the inside just to give that extra strength. All right. Be back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So, what I've done is I've used some Tamiya cement, the thicker one, and I've run that all the way along. Just run a line of it all along there just to give that extra bit of strength. And uh, that will take a little bit longer to dry, so I'll leave this for an hour. Now, something else I noticed too was I did actually fit one of the decks on the stern here and on the bow and obviously fine fit but then I've noticed these see all these tabs here so if we go look at the instructions here um, see um, there it is there they're not on there 
Okay, none of those are on there. Um, this part four is actually just talking about tightening up those screws that we did. So there's where I tested the decks, the stern deck anyway. But what I found was it won't fit on with those sticking in the way there. Um, yeah, so these, all of these need to be cut off. Now, these ones at the front you could leave on because they're not going to interfere with the deck. The deck's going to sit over all of that. But when you get to the stern, which I'll show you, just adjust the camera, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so as you can see, all of these, they all have to come off because, well, actually, some won't. These two could stay on. Those two could possibly stay on for the deck to sit there, but it's not going to go down, see? It's, this needs to sit down in this groove here, which is beneath these, and it's not going to go in there. All right. So these four here need to be removed. Um, those four at the front at this stage looks like they can stay there. Well, but these will be removed. So to do that, don't actually have a little saw. They're too thick to cut off without damaging the sides of the hull. So what I've got is I've got a hacksaw blade I took off. And I'll just uh, I'll just saw them off. Um, sand them down, make them a little bit cleaner, but as long as it's um, the deck's going to sit past them, sit in there, that's fine because the next deck above that will sit above them and they won't, and above all the others, so it's fine. But yeah, so that, that, that one and that one are coming off. But until then, I've got to let all this dry before I start uh, vibrating the whole thing, I cause problems. Okay, we'll be back short. Okay, welcome back. So the holes over there, making sure the glue sets properly. I'm going to leave that for a while. And then I'll go along and I've still got to cut those plastic bits off. So in the meantime, we'll go back to the manual here. Step four, uh, that's completed now. We've checked all the screws, glued it all together. And that tells them, doesn't tell you to do that. Um, step five is the stern deck, um, which I test fitted. It was fine. There are two holes to be made in there um, simple enough and then that gets put on top but that's getting well ahead of ourselves for what i want to do so we're going to just leave it at this and move on to some other parts that need doing which is the preparation of the hull because we need to get that uh, primed and painted before any of this so um, what we need to do is we've got to put some parts on and um, made a list of um, steps that show these parts that need to go on. So step 19, for example, uh, this one shows these. So we've got one, two, three, four. They're off the J sprue, although one of them is off the B sprue, just to confuse things. <laughs> um, they need to get put and attached to the side of the hull and on the opposite side as well, fairly sure, yes. So step 20 is attaching them on the opposite side. Um, there's a few extra pieces there. There's one I didn't realize before on the L sprue. Um, I'll have to get that one out and give that a wash, clean that part as well. Actually, I think I have got the L sprue, that's fine. Um, those sprues I took out earlier and I cleaned them up uh, washed them in dishwashing liquid and dried them, so they're all good to go. Um, the other step 21, uh, yeah, so there's a couple more off the L sprue that go on the stern there. Um, step 22 is basically repeating the opposite side. There you go. Step 23, and same with the other side there. Um, there's one there, it looks like the B sprue. Uh, might go on, it depends. The idea is I don't want to put anything that sticks above above the deck level, because otherwise it's going to get knocked off. 
which is what these other parts here from steps uh, 112 and 14, which are, go way back to 112 and 14 step. Let's have a look at them. 14. Uh, these, which I'm guessing are what the life rafts, lifeboats hang off. And they are there. So they will get put on. These parts, I will take them off the sprue and I will put them all in a separate little container somewhere. Got one ready here. And um, they're all numbered the same, so they're not going to get mixed up. They're all J69s and J64s, the opposite side. And they stick up above the railings up higher than the deck. So if I were to put them on, they'd get knocked off for sure. So they can go on later in the build. Uh, I might even paint them. We'll see. Um, but I'll definitely be painting them separately at the time that I'm doing the hull. Okay. So I was thinking of drilling portholes as well. I need to go to some reference images and figure out uh, how that's going to go. So let me just grab the anatomy of a ship and we'll have a quick look there okay so here we are with the anatomy of the ship the Yamato Masushi and looking here on page 100-101 is a nice profile along the side of the ship here this also is very handy to get the location of the red hull uh, where all that starts and where the divide is between that and the grey. All right, so I'll be able to line that up and work that on the hull, but that, that's later. We'll, we'll figure that out. Um, so there's a lot of showing all the portholes locations on here. I don't know if this is accurate to the model, but at least it gives a clue as to which ones we where we're going to have to drill out. There are a lot of photos throughout the book, as you can see here, that show the portholes. Um, definitely worth having this book as a reference because this is not shown on uh, the manual itself. But again, portholes, portholes, all need to be drilled out well. As, far as I'm concerned, there's a good reference there. All the portholes on that. Sorry about the glare. Turn that off. There we go. So there'll be quite a few. And of course, I'll be adding the crystal clear to that, which is, well, no, not crystal clear. <laughs> I use some ultra glue, which is canopy glue that dries clear. And it's a thicker glue. You can water it down as much as you want. And use we'll, we'll have a look at when it gets done but you just use a toothpick to place it in and uh, you get that nice glass effect all right but for the moment uh, I need to take some parts off sprues so let's put this aside and uh, we'll come back now one thing I also might note is that uh, you notice I haven't mentioned the um, the screws or the the shafts or anything under there and the rudders you find that it's not until in step uh, 11 that they um, actually have you fitting all of that 11 and 12 now I will be fitting these before that they will go on with these other parts I'm about to take off the sprue but some of these parts I'll be putting on some I won't there's some uh, little parts that go on as extensions where the prop shafts come out, they'll go on. The mounts for the propellers, I'll put those on. Um, but that's it. Um, they'll be on there for when it's sprayed. Um, as for the propellers themselves, um, or the screws, I should say, they will get painted separately and put on. And of course, these are steel shafts. Um, and they can get put on after as well. 
um, the rudder will also be um, painted separately as well as the other as well so they'll get fitted separately and painted separately that that's the plan for that but no i haven't haven't forgotten about all that to be done okay so um yeah all good i'll um i'll get these parts off the sprue as i promised back in a sec okay back again so i've sort of changed my mind about I was going to take all these parts off and, and stick them in containers. Um, but they're all different numbers and they all look very similar. And I I'm going to get them mixed up. So, you know, I mean, look at this, for example. V34 and J34, almost identical. Um, and then J33 is different to J34. So the best thing I'm going to do is really take them off and put them straight on the hull so i'm going to make some more space here so i've got room for the hull in front of me and then um, i'll take them off clean them up stick them on as i go otherwise they're just going to get mixed up all right we'll be back in a second i'll probably swing the camera around so we can get a better view all right cheers okay welcome back so as you can see it Part of the hull here i've got it positioned all in front of me on the desk here so i can work all along the side here now i uh, just want to make a note um, the first little pipe that we need to fit and checking the sprue actually all of them the way they're connected onto the sprue means that when you cut them off they actually have to be trimmed down flush and now I'll put the macro lens on my camera, my phone camera, throw a photo up in the corner here somewhere, and um, so you can see. And you'll see what I mean by the way it's connected to the sprue. You're going to have to trim that down um, so that it's going to sit flush against the hull. Otherwise, it's not going to sit on there properly. It's no point just cutting the, the sprue edge where it's connected and getting that nice but you've got to go underneath and get rid of that mound of sprue that's sitting there as well um, being careful not to hit those two connecting location points and that is on all of the pieces that i've noticed as well so a little bit of tidy up required um, just so it's going to sit all on there properly but i know that all right so um i'm going to start with this um, Clean this up, attach it, work on the next one, attach it um, all the way through the four first step 19. I think we're on, yes. And then uh, we'll go to step uh, 20, I think it is. 20 and continue. All right, so I shall return back shortly. Okay, guys, so there's step 19 done. There's one, two, three, four little pipes on there. Now, going over to step 20, sorry about my phone, uh, it's just a continuation down the hole of the rest of them. I mean, there's a few more there, there's about like a dozen to go on there. I'll just keep working my way down. Uh, they're not taking too much cleanup. Pretty easy, really. Just, uh, just give it a little scrape of your blade till it's flat underneath and popping it on, using the extra thin just to dab in the holes there's holes marked in the hole where they go so yeah it's not not difficult finding where they go exactly so i'll continue finish and we'll come back when i've done this side of the hole and have a quick look at it because i think after that it's just a matter of repeating it on the other side and we don't want to see that <laughs> all right I'll be back shortly Okay, so there's some parts I need to get off the L sprue. I forgot we had some on L sprue. There's four L sprues. Here they are here. Um, I haven't washed these, so I need to go and clean them. Um, warm soapy water, let them dry, and then I can get the pieces off for those. Okay, I shall continue. Okay, welcome back. So I'll just give you a, a look along what's been done 
So it's just all these pipes running down the hull. All the way along here, we've done all this. There's one here, bigger one. Going on further. All the way. There's a few smaller ones along here. And going right as far as there's an anchor on the back there. There we go. Let's put this back where it's safe. Don't want it falling off the table. There we go. All right. So that was step 19, 20, and 21, which I'll mark off here. 19, 20, 21. Now, step 22, 23, 24 will be exactly the same on the other side, which obviously I'll do that off camera. And um, in the meantime, uh, yeah, I'll get on to that. Um, I still need to cut these off. I haven't done yet. But uh, I'm just letting this completely dry overnight, and then I'll come, on and come along and uh, cut those off. Okay, so I'll come back when I've done the other side. And uh, we'll see what's next to be done. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So I've completed the other side of the ship here with all the pipes and everything all along the side here. So that's all done. Now I'm just looking at the next step, which was all these gabbets. You can see them all on here. Now the instructions show we have an option. So we'll get this here. So in step 112, um, we have the option of having raised position or lowered, I guess, position. Um, and they're on both sides of the ship all the way along. So the reason I'm looking at these in step 112 is because I was thinking of putting any of these on and paint them while doing the hull, but I don't want to put them in the raised position because they'll stick up too high and they're going to get knocked off. If I put them in the lowered position, they might be okay. But I don't know what the difference means in terms of um, what they're being used for. So oh, the anatomy of the ship, from what I can sell, shows them in this lowered position. Um, so I'm going to have to go through some references and find out. Um, either way... I'll have to take them all off the sprue, separate them into separate containers for left or right, depending which way I want them up or down, and um, paint them all up separately so they're all ready to go on. So I'll go sort out these, and um, yeah, we'll come back. We'll be back shortly. Okay, so I've just made an executive decision, and... Uh, Decide I'm going to put these in the lowered position against the hull. Um, I could have them up with a couple of the uh, ship's boats hanging on them. I've seen some reference photos of some other models where they put some of their ship's boats um, on them. But I just don't like that look. Even though I'd like to display the ship's boats, um, I don't want them hanging on there. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these off and attach them all on here in the lower so they sit flat against the side of the hull here and they'll get painted with everything else. Okay, so uh, yeah, I, you don't need to watch me doing all this, I guess. So when we come back, I'll have all of these on. We'll have a look at it. And, um, and then we'll move on under the hull where there's a couple of little bits we need to put on for the propeller shafts. And, uh, and look at what needs to go on there before painting. Okay, back soon. Okay, welcome back. So I've just test fitted these ones here. There's three of them on there just to see how they're going on. They're fine, but they do stick up a bit higher than the, the lip here where the deck's going to go. So what I'm thinking is because I have to turn this upside down and I've got to paint and work on the rudders and everything, these are going to get knocked off for sure, no matter how careful I am. So what I'm doing is now I'm going to take them all off 
they're all the same number piece for this side and then they're all part number so these are all part 64 which go on this side and then on the other side we'll have part 66 so what i'll do is i'll um, cut them all off the sprue clean them all up and i'll pop them in little containers and put them aside and label them uh, and i'll definitely be spraying them separately and then they'll they're easy to pop back on when after everything's sprayed and uh whenever i want really because they're definitely going to get knocked off so i just don't want that to happen so i'll go take off all these pieces and uh, clean them up and then we'll turn the boat the ship upside down and and have a look at the um the rudder and uh screw assembly down there and see what needs to go on okay back shortly okay welcome back so i've finished all of those davits all along the side of the hull there um i'll put a bit of video up there so you can actually see it a bit better and uh as you can see as we run along the hull that'll look quite good now um the only thing i discovered here is in the anatomy of the ship we have uh, this is the 1941 looking at the starboard side and we can see here that two of those davits are actually pointing towards the bow so all these ones are pointing in the correct direction and they're all pointing the right way by the instructions but from the um, anatomy of the ship these two here are actually pointing um, the other way so what I will do is I'll use those on the reverse side on the other side of the ship so they'll be pointing the opposite direction and uh, the ones for for the other side I'll put on this side because obviously they'll be the other way around I think that'll work all right. Otherwise, by the normal instructions, they're all they're all good. So what I'll do now is where did I put it? One second. Right. Is I'll take these back off. They're just dry fitted. Pop them all in a little container here. Label them uh, the part number, and uh, they will be from step uh, 112 to 114. And I'll paint them up later. Um, when I've got the grey going down on here, I'll, I'll get all them painted up. Okay, all good. Um, like I mentioned before, I won't be leaving, gluing them on now because they stick up above the line at the top here and they're going to, the wrist they'll get knocked off, so I won't do that. Okay, back shortly. Hey, welcome back. So here we are looking at the underside of the hull at the stern and we need to fit uh, some of these um, attachments for the propeller shafts now these parts quite simply just go in here like that i want to attach these now before i paint because they're easier that way than trying to glue onto a painted surface so that, they'll go on, as well as these two here. One, two there. Um, I've tested with the actual shaft just to make sure that that's going to go all the way through. So when we put in the brackets on here, which are the supports, they'll be able to slide into them. And uh, no problems fitting them. Now... Um, I was going to put the put these on as well um, but they fit through there no problem at all there's no obstacle that's good um, but trying to paint the underside of this with the hull red is going to be a bit difficult if they're attached to the hull so I will paint these separately and put them on after this is painted um, it's not going to be too hard because these here where the attachment points are quite deep so there'll be some bare um, plastic here that won't that i'll use to clamp and hold these as i paint them they don't need to have paint on them 
and uh, that'll avoid any mess or risk of any run or excess glue getting in there and messing it up. So, yeah, but I will glue those on um, and paint them separate. As for the rudders, um, I've got some custom ones done, which we'll have a look at later. And actually, we'll have a look at them now. So let me just open this up. I haven't even opened these myself yet. So let's carefully. Now, these were sent to me by Nigel from Nigel's Modeling Bench. And uh, if you want to go over and have a look at his web his uh, YouTube channel. Um, he also did a review on the Yamato, same as I did, and um, he sent me these fantastic looking rudders. Look at that. So these are more accurate than the kit supplied ones. Uh, they're not as thick, bulky, and chunky as what these are. You can see there, it's hard to show, but these ones there, the smaller ones there. Uh, yeah, these look looks these look much, much better. Okay. So um, yeah, they're gonna look good. Obviously, we'll be um, painting them up separately and attaching them separately too. Alright. Okay, so I'll go put these on. And then we've got to come back and look at um, drilling out some portholes. Um, I mentioned that earlier, that uh, I've made a note for myself that I don't forget. It's not crossed off my list yet, saying drill portholes. <laughs> so we'll, we'll take a look at that. But uh, let me get these glued on first. Back in a sec. Hey, back everybody. So I'm just working on these. Um, attachments for the shafts for the screws or propellers um, what I've done is I don't want to get these mixed up because they need to go in order in the correct places so I've cut the sprues in a way that you can still see the numbers part numbers on there but I've also freed them up so I've been able to cut them so that they're the only connection points are at the bottom of the parts that connect into this hull here so that means that I can clean up all the nubs, put the sprue on there, uh, get in there with the sanding stick and get rid of the seam lines because there are seam lines. And I can access all of that and work on them completely on there and even paint them. Um, paint them on the sprue like this because they'll be clipped off where the points go inside under here. They won't be seen. Just a little tip there if you want to try it that way, a little bit easier to uh, work on. And then I'll pop them into the container here where we've got labeled step 11 and 12. So I'm just going to go and work on these now and then uh, we'll come back and um, have a look at some porthole options back soon. Okay, welcome back again. So here we are, we've got a little close-up view of the portholes, small section of them anyway. There's actually 23 on one side um, that are marked like these. And there's three that look the same, but they're not actually hollowed out in any way. So I'm gonna actually drill them out just like I'm gonna drill these ones out. The reason I'm drilling them out is that when I'm finished and everything's painted, I'm going to come in with my, there we go, get it here, my ultra glue. There it is there. It's a clear canopy glue, acrylic, just dries clear. And I'll use a toothpick and just touch it in there, and that'll create a window look, a glass look in there for the porthole. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to use some icky sticky tungsten micro drill bits. These are one to two millimeter. And I'm using a 1.4, 1 1.4 millimeter 
to these holes. And let's have a look at drilling one. These are really nice sharp little drill bits. We'll start with that one there. Start turning it around. And it's taking me a little bit long because of the awkward angle on that for the camera. There it is there. It's gone through there. Off and uh, done. So I'm going to do that for another 22 plus 3. <laughs> I'll do all these long here and then I'll do the other side. Um, yeah. Okay. I shall return back shortly. Hey, welcome back again. So, uh, holes are all done. And I just remembered to take off those bits of plastic that were sticking out. So I know I said take four of them off before, but you need to take off the other two at the front here as well to get that deck to sit down and clear. Um, so this the six pieces are all off now. And that deck's sitting really nice and flush. Perfect. Really happy with that. All right. And... And of course, it's easily removed um, just by sliding it back up and out. Um, the nubs that were trimmed off, you won't see them, they'll be under the deck. Um, the ones on the rest of the ship, I don't think you need to remove them. They all seem below the deck line. They shouldn't get in the way. Um, there'll be another piece that goes on top here that will cover and you don't need to sand those back. Okay. So I'll get things tidied up here and uh, we'll get back to the instructions and see where we're at, where we're at uh, and what needs to be done next. I'll be back in a sec. Hey, welcome back again. Again, so um, just while I have this, uh, just remember there's two holes to be drilled. They're marked out into here and I've used a 1.2 mil drill bit, it's the size you need, and I'm guessing that's part of the mounts for the, the guns that sit on there. So you just got to be a bit careful because you're doing it's a checker plate area here, so don't slip. <laughs> be careful with that. All right. Now, um, just looking at uh, the instructions. Um, this hole is pretty much ready to paint now. We're pretty much ready to put some primer on this. So what I'm going to do is just go back to here. So pause done. We've done number five, which is the holes. Step five, that's done. Step six still works on this, and it's a matter of putting the um, photo etch railings down rails down for the or tracks i should say so there's tracks to go down here you can see they're all marked and on here as well all the photo etch so um i'm thinking about doing that now and then uh yeah and in the meantime um this will get this ready for priming but that'll be in the next video um, most of the next video will be a lot of painting because uh, I want to get all that completely done. There'll be a lot of time to wait and draw for drying time as well. So in those times, I'll be doing, well, stuff like photo etch here and, and other areas as we move on from six to seven. There's some pieces that go in on the back of the, on the stern there. Uh, some walls to go in, so yeah, <laughs> there's a lot to do. All right. So I want to thank everybody for watching, everybody for their comments below. Um, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and uh, share the video. Subscribe to the video, so we, to the channel, so you get notified. Um, obviously, these videos are getting very, very popular. A lot of interest in it and that's great to see 
And um, yeah, we'll come back into part six where we'll get on with a bit of painting. Um, I need to wait. I'm waiting on some paint to come in from Outlaw Paints. I'm getting uh, my friend uh, Jason there to do us a pure Japanese grey that we need for this, as well as a special hull red, uh, as accurate as possible. Well, super accurate to the colours that we want it to be. And um, yeah, looking forward to getting the paint on. All right, so thanks everybody, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.